everyone how's it going it's jewel tolentino here all right so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to fix bad audio quality in camtasia 2020. all right so i'm here in the camtasia editing software and before i get started i want to let you guys know that to get better audio you should be recording with an external microphone and if you're doing video, you should also have an external webcam or camera also. Ideally, you don't want to be using the webcam and the microphone that are directly on your laptop because that is usually a lower quality video and audio. When you have external video and external audio plugged in, it makes the video quality look and sound a lot better. All right, so let's get into it. I've got a test recording here. And to really hear this properly, you, you should have headphones on. If you are watching this video and, you know, it's on your desktop, laptop, or from your phone and you don't have headphones or earbuds or something, I suggest putting them in because you'll, you'll be able to hear the differences that are going to be added on the audio. All right, so this is a raw recording that I just did just before filming this tutorial. And again, I used a USB external microphone. And I'll have a link to the actual one that we use down in the description below. But I'm going to play this audio here just as is with nothing added to it. You can hear what it sounds like without anything added to it. Test, test, this is a test recording, just raw audio. So you can hear that there's a little bit of background noise going on. If I did not have an external microphone at all, you would really be able to hear every little thing that's going on and the background noise would be much louder. To enhance this audio to make it better, you want to head over to audio effects. I had to click the more button and then go to audio effects. It might already be listed here depending on if you've already clicked on it. So I'm going to click on audio effects and there's a couple of different things here, but the main one that I use when I'm doing these kinds of tutorial videos is the noise removal. So all you want to do is go to the audio track and you'll see here it is labeled audio and you want to drag this down there. Depending on what's happening with the audio, I might play around with the sensitivity and the amount. I usually don't when I'm doing these these tutorial videos and these recordings. I usually won't need to touch this. I'll only need to touch this if I'm using a different kind of microphone, let's say on a DSLR camera, or I've got a lapel microphone or something, a different kind of microphone than the current one I'm using. So now that I've added that, let's play it now. Test, test. This is a test recording just raw audio and then i'll remove it so that you guys can hear the original and then we'll play it again test test this is a test recording just raw audio so you can hear there is a big difference it's pretty much silent there in the test, beginning. Test, test, this is a test recording, just raw audio. And so you see when I add the noise removal on the original audio, it makes it even better. Now this is very basic, Camtasia just has a very basic noise removal. And for the most part, it helps a lot. We add these to all of our tutorial videos that you see on our YouTube channel here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't play around with the fade in or fade out or the audio compression. I only use these kinds of things if I'm doing a, a different kind of edit. For example, my business partner, Arit, she's a, she's a singer and I edit some of her music videos and so when I have certain parts of the song, I'll do like a fade in or fade out. Or if there's different kinds of uh, sound effects, different audios, 
I'll use it there, but I don't need it when I'm doing these kinds of tutorial videos. Sometimes depending on the microphone that you're using, when you add the noise removal, it sounds like you're kind of like in a tube or in some sort of a hole or something like it, it just sounds a little bit awkward sometimes that happens when it does I lower the sensitivity and I lower the amount between 5 to 10 points so I'll go like minus 5 to minus 10 and I'll play around and listen to it to to get to it to the point where it sounds like a, a normal clean audio where it doesn't sound like I'm in a tube or some some plastic container or something. But like I said, for the current setup that I have going on here, I don't need to touch anything here with the sensitivity or the amount when I add the noise removal. So I highly suggest adding this to your videos, especially if they are tutorial videos, if they're lecture type videos, talking videos, add this to your audio as it will improve and enhance it. And like I said, the links to the microphone that we use and the webcam that we use will be down in the description below. So if you've enjoyed this video, I have a full Camtasia course. It's nine plus hours long, 70 plus lectures. If you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. The link to that will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.